Hi kids, it's Mr. Kaser. Today we're gonna to learn how to use Google Classroom for art this year. So uh, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is open up uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, the web browser that we use, okay? If you're in Safari, um, you're gonna to wanna to click, I would definitely just click on Google Chrome and if it's open, it'll just stay open. But if it's Safari is open, which is the Apple browser, uh, Google Chrome will open up over top of it. So you'll, you'll, if you click on it, you'll know you're in Google Chrome. Okay. So this is my Google Chrome page. Yours might look different. So don't worry if yours looks different. I just have this fancy art background. Okay. So then once you're in, you go over here to the waffle. Now I call it a waffle because it looks like a waffle you have for breakfast. So I click on there and I'm already in my account. And if you're not in your account, there will be uh, nothing here, okay? So you might have to be logged in, and if you're not sure, ask uh, ask me or ask your homeroom teacher if you're in your homeroom class, and it'll say, you know, it'll give you your information right there, okay? So click on the waffle, and then you go to classroom with the chalkboard, okay? I know you guys have, most of you have probably never seen a chalkboard because now we have whiteboards. But when Mr. Case was little, it used to be a green chalkboard and he used to use white chalk on top. That's how old I am. Okay, so click on, class, click on classroom and your classes will show up. Now mine only have art classes because I teach art, okay? So pretend you're a first grader and this says language arts and maybe this says STEM and maybe this says gym and maybe this there's a math one in there and your different classes are in, will all be in here. So first grade, Art is the crayons. Second grade art is the paint tube. Kindergarten are the kids. Third grade are paint brushes. Okay, so we're pretending we're a first grader right now. So I click on first grade art. Now you'll see the crayons, and it says up here stream, classwork, people, and grades. You really have to worry. The main two that you have to worry about are stream because it's the first thing you're going to see when you come in, and I'm sure you, your teacher has talked to you about this and classwork, because this is where all the projects are gonna be posted, okay? Grades we'll worry about later, but for right now, just worry about stream. Stream is stream is basically like saying, hi, you're here, you're in art, this is, this is some stuff that's going on. Classwork is the actual project, so let's click on classwork. Now, the next project that you need to do is will always be at the top. So you do the next one at the top, okay? And, uh, I'm going to flip these pretty soon because uh, we'll end up doing this project the next week. So, but right now, this is the top project, so this is what we're doing. So I click on there, the Van Gogh Flowers Project, because we're going to make a Vincent Van Gogh sunflower picture. And it says here, use the video tutorials to draw a Vincent Van Gogh inspired sunflower. So then you come down here, and don't worry about the rubric yet, we'll talk about that later. You're going to click on this video. This takes you to Mr. Kaser's Weebly site where I have everything stored, okay, that I've made before. Okay, so and here's Vincent Van Gogh sunflowers. Here's Vincent Van Gogh. Here's sunflowers. Scroll down. Here's a video about Vincent Van Gogh. Wait, don't do it yet because we will be doing uh, some activities with these videos this year rather than just watching them in class, okay? Some cool things where you get to talk about what you see in the video or what you think. Okay, here are some examples of some students' work. Here are some teacher things that I'm trying to accomplish with this project with you. And here's a little bit of information. If your parents would like to read that, feel free. Here's the assessment part. This is what I'm looking for when I'm grading your project. Students follow the steps demonstrated in class and emphasized by the videos to create a contour drawing of at least eight, eight sunflowers. Now, contour just means the outline of something. The outline of something is a contour, okay? So, and then here's some vocabulary, some principles of design, some I can statements, okay? And we'll talk about that more in class and I'll go through those with you probably right after this. And um, like I can explain what a contour line drawing is. We just covered what that is. It's the outline of something, okay? So when we start, here is each step in a video. Look at that, it's like baking a cake. You have one step then you do the next step, then you do the next step. Now, because of our shifted schedule and you being at home sometimes this year, we are going to modify it and 
instead of just, instead of the painting, because you might not have paint at home, okay, we will probably end with this step where we're coloring it all the way in. I've got it partially colored in here. I will have a finished example of a colored, completely colored in version when you're done. But that will that's our inspired picture. It'll look like a cross between this one and this one when you're done, okay? So that's basically how it's going to be done. And then you're going to using Photo Booth at the end, and Photo Booth is right here. That's Photo Booth. You're going to end up taking a picture of yourself. I don't know if I can do this. I've never tried this. Um, with the camera holding up your picture, Here's my, here's my picture, and then I'll have you uh, posting it in there, okay? So that's it. I think my camera went a little goofy from doing that, but that's okay. And I will see you guys uh, right after this video.